We are live once again. New day, new matches, new challenges to overcome. Our last game was absolutely horrible. The game before that, though, was phenomenal. And the game before that was phenomenal. The game before that was phenomenal. So we can take one bad loss. But as we can see, we are a quarter of the way until level 29 at this point. And um, the beautiful part about that is that then we only have one level to go after we reach our 29. So your goal for today is to play a couple games here and now, but earlier here in the day. Then um, in the evening, do our normal stream schedule. We still, it says that we still have three days left of um, whatever, double XP, whatever it is, XP boost. So we're going to have to work with that. Then we'll get there. We'll get there easily. Because I have time to stream today. Tomorrow, I also think I have a bit of time, so we should be, should be all good. Um, we're gonna ban Master Yi. Is the greatest enemy. Okay, a team with um, Yumi. Lulu and Timo would be a fun little team to to be playing on, but I guess you know not happening here. When we wait for our pick to be available, hello Cairo TTV. Let's check that everything is uh, running all smoothly. It appears to be. Perfect. Captain Timo okay. On duty. He gets, lets us go first. We'll take that. We'll take that. What are we getting here? Senna. Ash. Thank you very much for the follow, Cairo. Aatrox, Ahri, Ahri. Okay, okay, okay. I think we'll, we'll work with this. Good change it there. Gathering Storm. This mana band is just the most unuseful stuff ever. Not this shit again. Um, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Gathering storm and transcendence and attack speed. Yep, that works. Should okay. We have Warvik on the other team. We don't love that, but maybe we'll be fine. Any good names here? Mm, nothing to really write home about, though. Any skins we have to worry about? I'm going to argue our Panda Teemo skin is the, the finest one here in this game. Let's hope Warbeck isn't too good. Because that will mess me up a bit. Okay, nobody has questioned our choice of playing Teemo. Which, great. We often get that, so it's a welcome change to not have it. 
No, actually, I'm going top, I think. Take a Navic for the farm model. We can do a bit of a reverse. And then we'll secure our... The Dragon Scuttlebee. Now, I do have a very good feeling about this. I feel like we will win this. I don't know about easily, but I feel like we will. I just hope Warwick Maybe won't be too well. aggressive and counter jungling me, but I guess so we'll see. Yep, yeah, nobody's coming over. Let's get our attack speed boost. Of 20%. Nice. Teemo is, is the absolute finest champion you can play. You're, you're right about that, Cairo. No, 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 I did that. I went too aggressively. <laughs> okay, we messed that up totally. God damn it. Well, see, this is kind of what we didn't want. Oh god, oh god. That was stupid of me. That was so stupid of me. Thank you very much for the support. It means a lot. But yeah, I don't I can't um really accept any any subscriptions at this point. Still a bit of growing to do. Well that went absolutely horrible. What a great start. Just when I was about, when I said before the game. Yordle ass. Hoping you have Teemo as your lock screen then also. I clearly should have just shut up about Warwick. It was just a bit of karma hitting me there. Being feral is allowed here. We aren't too strict on the rules. Maybe I can accept a bit of lunacy here. Teemo is built to withstand that. Now, what are we thinking here? Yeah. Warwick will most likely very early on go for Dragon, if he's smart. So let's hope he's not. Maybe he's also off his meds. Aatrox. 
Yeah, we're a bit left behind here now. No. Stupid Warbeck. Please don't come here. Why is he in my jungle all the time? What the hell is this? I am Europe West, yes. And I guess Europe West is where all the most aggressive Warbix can be found. I need a bit of time to grow here with my Teemo, otherwise we're gonna so behind. Yeah, we don't really care about that. Void grubs at this point. Yeah, not a French, you know, but I do like a good bottle of wine and a croissant, but not French, no. Now, is there something we could do here? Well, that wasn't the, the best play by me. Not German, though. Not close, even, to German, I would say. Reporting in. You have been able to join me here in my worst game. Getting nothing done. Italian? No, not really. Otherwise, I would be, you know, speaking with my hands. And that's a pretty tough one. Pretty tough one to guess where I'm from. Not from Port of Yugal either. Just getting colder here with the gases. Even though Port of Yugo would probably be a fun place to be from. Okay, now here we go. Come on, Warwick. Yeah, more northern sounds good. If I would be in Game of Thrones, I would be from Winterfell, you could say. <laughs> Sweden or Scotland. Uh, <laughs> I'm from the Nordics, if that helps. I don't really have an accent though, which I guess doesn't really help with guessing. There we go. Perfect. Oh no. That was a stupid play by me. Greenland, yes. You guessed it. I have my pet polar bear outside, waiting for me to bring him his food. Bear just mostly eats chips. Like I like it. It likes a bag of lays. 
each day. Go to McDonald's. He loves a quarter pounder. You know, normal bear stuff like that. Now, I don't know if, I, I, if I'm if i going to let you near my bear after you said that. I don't know how he's going to like that sort of behavior. Are you going to gank my volley bear? Oh, I thought he was helping me. I don't know what else I should feed him. He, he just kind of enjoys all the fast food in the world. Which isn't really a problem, though. I hope we can accept that. After Trump buys Greenland, you guys can join over. Don't even have to apply for citizenship or anything. Pretty luxury, right? Yeah, we, we have pretty good healthcare here in Greenland. I really can't can't complain. Even polar bears get healthcare. How do you have a $980 car payment? Like, what the hell do you... What type of car do you drive? That's crazy insurance. My volley bear is starting to get a bit terrified here. Swiftly. But I mean, that's still like super expensive. You probably do you have like a lot of coverage on it or is it just like well, I don't know how the US insurance really works. <laughs> well you can't complain about your insurance at that point though. If you don't even pay for it on your own. But isn't the car more important than food, though? I mean, otherwise you would have to walk, which, you know, isn't too much fun. Yeah, this Aatrox is a bit out of control.
Yeah, it's kind of what I've seen. Here we just ride polar bears around. A lot well, cheaper. No insurance for polar bears. So, Cairo is 600 pounds, and you're not. And Nawig is not. Yeah, this is absolutely horrendous game. I don't know. I have no clue what I'm doing here. Oh, let me just back. We need to freaking... figure this out new approach it's time to start playing this was just practice before now we're actually gonna start to do something have you ever considered being on my 600 pound life is that what it's called something similar pantheon isn't too pleased I wouldn't be too pleased either. So I mean, I totally get where he's coming from. Come on over. No, they won't come over. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, we're having a couple of rough games here with Teemo. Maybe your car insurance payment is, is so high because of um, how much you like riding polar bears. Maybe the insurance company doesn't like that sort of stuff. What is my Pantheon complaining about? I don't even understand. There we go. Oh no. Pantheon isn't too pleased. Luckily here in the the free north you can do whatever you want and say whatever you want. No consequences. We're gonna give Pantheon great shot calling. See, we weren't even the worst player on our team here. Were we? No. I'd argue we were the best player on our team. So it's just time to get straight back into it. Soon, we'll level 30. And then the fun part begins when we can actually start playing ranked games. I appreciate that, Nalek. Yeah, I don't know how they in class is supposed to go by if you can't even threaten your your classmates. It's unbelievably boring. We're going to give Teemo a go in, but this time, we're going to ban Warwick. Countering everything that happened last game. Now, how about if you... 
assault everybody who saw you assaulting the professor. Then, based on video game logic, well, we sort of have to play Fizz. It's always my second go-to if uh, Teemo gets banned. But if you go by Red Dead Redemption logic, then you assault everybody who saw you assaulting the first person, then you basically assaulted nobody. Because there's nobody who can tell the truth. Have you ever thought about that? What do we want here? Storm 5% of missing health. Grant an additional 20 gold. Now polar bears. They're just very cuddly. Cuddly animals, so... They're not even aggressive, it's just basically go up and hug them. They'll hug you right back. Sort of like a big dog, in a way. Yeah, it's important to keep the polar bear happy. Otherwise, having to pay for their therapy is can be quite expensive as we don't have too many therapists here in Greenland, Greenland but now is this really the best coup de gras mm, no from life steal we don't do much with life steal attack speed not really I mean, you don't have to be the polar bear therapist, but you just have to get them a therapist if, you know, you don't treat the aftercare in a proper sense. Now, what does a psych major do if they don't become a therapist, though? Are you going into the psychiatric ward? Creating your own Arkham Hospital, perhaps? Do we have a super villain in the making here? Now, I don't know if I would want you to be my neurosurgeon, though. I have a feeling you might make some own concoctions there. Twist a couple of neurons here and there, and, you know, you never know what the finished product is. I'll be a real Frankenstein monster after that. You know, I mean, pretty okay. Pretty okay. So are you in, like, Guatemala's finest neurosurgeon school right now? You don't live in the happy life abroad? Basically the same stuff, no? Florida, Guatemala? Ah, so that's why you're 600 pounds. Well, that explains it. 
Now I should have known Massachusetts. That's where the big people are. <laughs> I mean, isn't it? I think it is. That's what we hear here. Across the Atlantic. Well, not really across. Nearby. No, I think that's Massachusetts, dumb. So from Massachusetts to Texas. No, to Florida. You are really downgrading it. Downgrading your life here. I think you need to go to Vermont or something. Have your own apple orchard. I do know that. I actually played Assassin's Creed 3. You're not the only psychiatrist here, my friend. I'll see you in Vermont and... You know, let's call it 40 years, maybe? Is that a good time? I mean, all the, the World War III has happened, you know, a couple nuclear bombs here and there, and then it's probably a good time to settle down there with your apples. Make apple pie every day. Pork chops with applesauce. You know, live the good life. You know, your age is pretty much incalculable for me at the moment. I can't... I don't really know math that well. We didn't really get it taught to us here in... In Greenland. Now, why is Akali not joining me? Serotonin. That's a very familiar word, but well, well, I can't really remember what it means. You know, the education here in Greenland is sort of similar to education in the U.S. You know, not the best. Ah, uh, of course, I, I should have realized that it meant that. <laughs> Not a lot of Sarahs here in Greenland, though. Yeah, let's just get away from him. Not that one pretty horribly. Just as, you know, planned, usually, my jungle rouse go. You know, I was just kidding, of course, I know what serotonin means, as I'm a psychiatrist, it's, you know, my duty to know stuff like that. Mm. Bjorn is a pretty, pretty common name. I think if you go to your local Walmart here, there's going to be about, you know... 50 Bjorns there. We, of course, have Walmart here also. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. Oh, that's nice. I've heard it. Heron is pretty great. So, um, you know, it's something I'm looking to getting into here in the next couple hours. 
but we'll see what happens. Depends on kind of how the games go. As it's going right now, it does seem like heroin will be on the table here. Yeah, I do like fentanyl also. I, I do enjoy the, the high risk aspect of it. You know, makes a bit more thrilling. Life can be a bit boring here in Greenland, but you know, heroin, fentanyl, mix it up in a cocktail, put in some blueberries to be healthy, of course, and you know, go to town. And you ride around your polar bear to your local Walmart. You know, live your life. They won't catch me. See, I first read it out that you would love to shoot up a polar bear, and I was about to get very triggered. But luckily, you, know, you do have some common sense still. Still, not too much, but an acceptable amount. Now, Wanna see a trick? let's get this. Let's get Drake here. Help me out, boys. Okay. I guess not. Let's not get it. I'm chill. It is what I've heard. It is what I've heard, but that's what kind of happens when you live in minus 60 Fahrenheit weather. It's a permanent chill effect. You know, if this were an RPG, I would start off with 10 points and chill. But of course, as I'm a Viking, also I Swimmingly. my strength is up there, and my riding skills, of course. Thank you. And don't you dare steal my kill, Caitlin. So I'm feeling like sort of a three-way marriage here is is what's maybe for the best. No, but isn't it good to have somebody crazy in your family? That's always what you gotta have. Oh, Twitch is their jungle. Luckily, I can be of help. Bye. Oh god, Twitch, why did you come here? I do not believe you. You can't be married. An ally has been slain. Ah. Or is um, bestiality legal in Florida? Now you would know if it's legal. Gotcha. After I get 10 more kills, I will be on the phone with the FBI. Now, people in the U.S. get married at a very early age, which kind of surprises me. I do not know why. An enemy has been 
Don't you dare take my kill. Okay, you took it. Oh, but it's nice that you're staying in the family. You gotta keep the bloodlines pure, like the royal families. So you basically have your own little royal family going, which I can appreciate. Oh no. An ally has been slain. No. I hope you have multiple generations of inbreeding going on. But I guess, you know, living in Massachusetts, it's just sort of part of the deal. At least on, you know, based on the way people look in Massachusetts, it seems like it's very common with inbreeding. Naturally, of course, it's nothing wrong with that. Now, what type of sandwich would you be, though? Nice little BLT. Give me this kill. Give me this kill. What? What? Jesus. Tuna sandwich? Femur sandwich. Both very solid alternatives. I was thinking... Now, what's the best sandwich? I really gotta think about this. Now, I'm not a sandwich man, per se. So, I don't know how well I'm gonna fit into... US. Now we strike. But tuna fish, that's a pretty bad pick. It's a very rare thing that tuna works out. A breakfast sandwich. Now that is a very patriotic thing, a breakfast sandwich. We don't have those here in Greenland. Yeah, I guess, you know. I'm thinking about running for US president here at, at some point in my life. It, it just kind of makes sense to do it. God damn it. With toast, some egg, ham and lettuce. But where's the pound of mayo that she would put on it though? Did you forget about that? Now, if you actually want, I appreciate the voting. I think, you know, with enough voter fraud, I think I would be able to get there. Now, mustard as a sandwich can be a bit of a hit or miss. But if you actually want something very good to eat, 
Then I have a very traditional Greenland dessert that you all should try. And I can promise you that it will blow you away more than my own Volibear. It's you go to Walmart, you go buy some vanilla ice cream, then you go and you buy the finest olive oil that you can find. You sprinkle it up top on the top of the ice cream, put a bit of salt on it, and it's absolutely delicious and nutritious. Very highly recommend this. Frozen custard shop. Uh, no. I don't know if it's um, if it's enough. This is such a different type of thing. But this is worth breaking up a couple of legs. Let me tell you that. It may seem odd at first. But it really does work. You just can't put too much olive oil on it. That will ruin it. But you know, I know you don't probably have any plans for tomorrow. So this is your plan for tomorrow. Walmart, ice cream, olive oil, salt you probably have at home. But if you're cultured enough, you also have olive oil at home. And then enjoy this deliciousness. Um, now I don't want to be rude so I can't say what makes me think that you do not have plans you know Greenlanders are very kind people now of course if you can afford it I also support the idea of stealing I think a bit of stealing every day is there's wonders for the mind. Yeah, I think especially stealing You know, stealing from innocent people is like the, the absolute best. Stealing from rich people, you know, not too fun. As they're not going to notice you stealing stuff. But whenever you steal from somebody who actually notices it, man, beautiful stuff. But I appreciate the no lifeness. It's it's good. It's the same reason why I play League of Legends. You know. Only a no life would play this absolutely horrible game. But luckily for me, I'm so talented at it, it you know, it just makes sense. It will earn me millions of dollars winning all the tournaments in this game. I'm just waiting for our team to be smart enough to pick me up. Because who wouldn't want a Fizz or a Teemo jungle on your team? You know, everybody else follows the meta, but me? No. You never know what I'm going to do next.
So what was the latest thing you guys stole? I hopefully it was something very good. Something that somebody desperately needed. Thirteen new boars, hearts. Mm, solid choice. What did you do with the newborns and hearts? Bit of dinner, maybe? Put it in a breakfast sandwich? I mean, both of them work for both cases. I think baby formula was the one for me from a, a single mother. Swimmingly. That's always kind of my go-to. Really gets my juices going. Now can we kill you? No, we can't. Land oh god. Diapers. I oh, just like to look at them. I mean, I think it could be seen as an art. So you know, just looking at them should be should be just fine. Why am I doing Q and not W? That was stupid of me. Oh, she has 15 kills. The time stealing. That's my absolute favorite. Now, how much time did you actually plan on stealing, though? I mean, I fully support adult diapers. I think everybody should wear them. Yeah. You know, because why not? It, I mean, it just makes sense to wear them. And I don't think you even have to change them that often. You know, but a smell doesn't hurt anybody. Because let's be honest, you know, people live in places that smell. You know, Massachusetts, for example. Let's go get Kanye here. Oh, God. no, 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 no. You know, I don't shower too often, of course. So, you know, a bit of healthy stink is is always good. Now that was sort of a stupid play by me. I think showering is very overrated. I hope for you guys don't shower either. Why waste water on showering when you can use that water to boil hot dogs, right? The patriotic thing to do. You know, there are so many years of, of a musk going on over here that I don't know if you can actually do it clean enough. But... 
I think if you don't have any plans for tomorrow, then... Then maybe it could be... It could be sort of a good plan. See, you know, I know. I know what's American. If I ever see somebody boiling a hot dog, I know. I know. They're from the US. The same with if somebody's talking very loudly in a restaurant. Then you know they're American. All these beautiful things make the country what it is. Now, you must understand that I'm not intellectual enough to understand the word goon. Is goon like a... Like a crazy person? That's what I think. Like, I don't know where it comes from. Goon? Wait, I actually know. Goon. Give me a moment here. I'm gonna look it up while I eat my dinner, I think. Oh god. Let's get out of here. Don't kill me. Calculated enough. Gooning, similar to grooming. Maybe? Oh god. She does a lot. Okay, I should have used my Zonius there. But you know, you guys totally threw me off with this whole goon talk. So I'm gonna have to blame you on that death. So technically, I'm still 5, 5, and 12. Now, I'm going to have to look up this word, but I'm going to do it with a private window. It's nothing. It's a movie? Now, that was... Quite a ruse you guys just had there. A bit disappointed in you. Oh, gooning. I just looked up goon. Whoops. My bad. I was already prepared to remove you from my presidential cabinet when I rise in power. Now, here we are, and boom. Hold on a moment, and it will be the next time you guys distract me enough and I die. We can look up Gooning. See what it's all about. Oh god. Okay, she does a bit more damage than I thought. An enemy has been slain. Now, no need to throw up. It just smells awful when somebody throws up. So I will accept no throwing up in my presidential cabinet. Oh. Gooning. An enemy is gone. So you guys are edge lords. Now I think this will be my word of the day.
gooning. What a great little thing. I hope you're edging right now. Does Naywick not want to participate in this gooning session? Are you embarrassed of the things you're into? You shouldn't be embarrassed. Everybody that is gooning couple times a day. Now that was not great. Oh god, we totally missed that. There we go. Oh no. Calm down, everybody. You know, everybody gets to edge me. We're very, very kind here in Greenland. It's it's edge country in a way. Everybody edges everybody. Now, do you want to do it while here in Greenland or wait for wait for me to come to Vermont ah the culture yes I will embrace you into the gooning culture of Greenland We like to do it sitting in the snow. Now, do you, Cairo, talk in that awful Massachusetts accent? They're a Boston one. Or do you talk in a pleasant way? Like a real Midwestern. Ah. Uh, Unfortunate. You have slain an enemy. Park the car. Is it something that people get made fight of a lot? You know, I of course would make fun of people if they spoke like that. I can teach you to speak like a proper Greenlander. Then you will get all that foreign love that people will get in the US. Now, what's a typical sentence, and how would he say that? Now, I, I imagine it's something like came from from um, Modern Family, something similar to that, probably. I 
I think I'll sort of adjust my accent to be more of that. I think it would suit me pretty well. I feel like this very basic accent that I have going on is, you know, a bit, a bit boring. So we need to spice things up a bit. Maybe we'll also implement the Boston accent into it, make a real cocktail of things. It is just an illusion that I do not have an accent. No, no, you have to realize that I'm bilingual is, is sort of boring. I think, you know, quadlingual, that's more like it. We speak the legendary Viking language of Nordician. Now you don't get to become the, the finest psychiatric on Greenland if you're not educated. Neywick, you should know this. This is why I have to arrange a three-way marriage so that we have enough education for our future children. Olaf? Now, I think that would go pretty poorly, but I think Fis is also pretty um, culture-wise. It's a fish, you know. Greenland is basically a fish country. Now you see, my philosophy is that I think every every child who has grown up with a crazy parent is you know, a better one. There is no harm in having a crazy parent. The more crazy, the better, in fact, I think. You know. It really helps you become an adult, a very stable one, of course, which is what we want. How about, I don't really like the steel part. How about we come up with some other Joseph, Joseph, um, now what would be something with S starting? Joseph Star. what would be a good name? Who banned Timo? Joseph Star. I don't, I'm kind of blanking on this, what we could call you. I think something in that direction would be good. Now, purity ring is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Star Stalin? Is there somebody named Stalin? I think it's a very strong name. Joseph Stalin. I'm going to call you Joseph Stalin. Ah, governor of Massachusetts. Makes sense, makes sense. A bit, somewhat of a f familiar name, I think. 
Now I'm gonna have to look up this address and I hope it is something truly spectacular. Now what are we doing here? Karate, Lilia, Caitlyn, is awful champions. Do we want to go sort of the fun route and play the goo monster? Let's go with that. How can you live near an elementary school, though? I thought you weren't allowed to. Now, this is in the middle of fucking nowhere. Winter Garden? In Florida? That's a stupid name. Oh. It just had an update. You actually are some houses here. Independence Community Park. What's with this Independence? Is Independence a city name? That's stupid. I mean, you gotta move. Now. How do I delete this message, though? Hmm. I actually do not know how to delete that. Chat settings? No. Oh, you have not made this easy. You know, I have no clue how to delete that message, so. But you know, nobody watches. Nobody's gonna watch this. Nobody will. No, there will be no hitman at your house. Or maybe there will be, but you know, just brings a bit of excitement into your life. I think everybody needs something to be terrified of to really, you know, live up to their potential. So. I think you'll be fine. Fish, fish, fish. Minions have spawned. I'm not actually sure if you're you actually just docked yourself or not. <laughs> if this is just a big joke. Maybe that's your enemy's address. Now that would be a smart play. Or not. I actually thought about making a TikTok based on based on your address. Really, you know. Whoops, why did I smite already? I should get a suit. No, I haven't made a TikTok yet, but I think this would be a good starting point. Ah, now it's your friend's address, you know. 
I got you. I got you. It's a bit similar when you have to ask somebody. Something embarrassing. It's always your friend who has is in this predicament. But I see you. It's it's your friends or dust. Mom always said I was big for my age. Now let's hope your friend will not get murdered. Unless he's a real asshole, then you know, not too much harm done. He does live in Florida though, so, you know. Especially in Orlando. Why wouldn't you want to live in like Miami or something, some actually coastal? Isn't inward Florida just kind of boring? Not much to do. Just alligators, stuff like that. Oh, you have to go to bed. Now, does this mean that you do not want to stay awake for another 10 hours? You do not prioritize my stream over sleep? How is that possible? Okay, I gotta respect Tampa. I think I have to respect that choice. It, it might, probably isn't half bad of a place to live. But I do understand the burgers at McDonald's won't flip themselves, so I understand you gotta go to work. Just another day on the job. I hope you will give me a quarter pounder when I visit Orlando at Winter Gardens. No. No, no, you can't give me too much. Otherwise, I'll soon be on my 600 pound life. We do not want that. Even though it might actually be pretty fun. You know, you get that nice hanging loose skin. Which is something that I'm working towards right now. Ah, smart. Just like I do with heroin. Just a bit each day to keep me coming back. You can't overdo it, but like just enough. No, why not? Again, being so judgmental with my life choices. It's not a good look, you know. You gotta be supportive. People have different interests and you just gotta, you know, respect it. Some people like reading books. I may bend, but I Some people like doing heroin and, you know. Not, it's pretty impossible to say which is better. I think both of them have their, have their place in a happy and a healthy life. See, I already turned you around. Now you're a full supporter of the heroin. I hope you find a bit of heroin on your own tomorrow and you know, are able to join on this fantastic journey. 
Happening over yonder, not much. Now you still haven't gone to bed. A bit addicted, are we? Schoolwork? Isn't it like. I can't have schoolwork at this time. How can your brain even be processing? It's super late over there. Unless you like... Now, I'm sure you're actually just two hobos on on the street. I'm starting to think that because why else would you be awake at this hour? Just enjoying that nice little hobo lifestyle. Being able to go wherever you want. Whenever you want. Let's bounce. So we... 5 p.m. to 12 p.m. I should get a suit. That is too late, my man. You gotta be in bed. 12 a.m. You know, I'm, I'm too cultured to understand the difference between those two. Everything is just, um, you know, the 24 hour or the military clock, like you like to call it. To me, put some spring in your step. Now, where is everybody? See, I'm teaching you new things here. Now you already have the 24 hour clock fully handled. After this, we'll go over kilos instead of pounds, kilometers, over miles, and then you'll be ready to come on over to Greenland. Killing spree. I can appreciate that reference. But miles, I'll die on him. That miles per hour is just a stupid way to measure things. No, pounds is probably more stupid. Or oh, feet. Feet is just a ridiculous one. But when I become president, we're gonna get some order here. There's plenty of me to go around. Thank you, my man. Have a good night. Remember to be gooning. Hopefully you goon all night. Just another day on the job. There we go. Perfecto. Now, what do we want next? Well, we can't get that. 
So we're gonna have to do that. And what are we looking at over here? We have AP, AP, AP. So definitely boots of thing in the jigs. Clutch. That was clutch fizz. Why thanks. I do work out. Here we go. Let's just do this. Boom. This is going surprisingly well. You know we don't play Zack a lot. It's kind of boring to be fully tank champion. You know, we can't really complain about how it's going. An ally has been slain. Well dang. My blood, I mean my goo. You're not going to cast me with that one. I never They're level... 10? Oh, we gotta level up a bit here. We're just freaking roaming around like a madman. Let's get back into the basics. An ally has been slain. I should get a suit. There we go. Very low scoring game. Oh no. How's it going? Has been slain. Now let's happening here okay nothing can we get both we can't get both <sighs> wait no why am i buying sunfire I think we need Tormail though. Scots are going eighty. Yeah, let's go. Th I think Thornmail after this. Let's see what happens. Boom! 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 Well, no, we can't get her. What are you doing, my man?
No. I may bend, but I don't break. Let's get over yonder. Let's get over yonder. And yeah, we're just freaking gaining things here. Not as squishy as I look. Fighting is in my blood. I mean, my goo. Well, damn. That didn't really go according to plan. Your team has destroyed a turret. Give me some help, not just you trash. <laughs> we need all the help we can get. We need all the help we can get. We need all the help. We need all the help. We need all the help we can get. Your team has destroyed a now we're up to level 10. Nice. Okay. Not maybe too happy about that, but... Let's get down yonder. Now, what do we want to buy? Thinking thorn mail. Put some spring in your step. Twenty-four hundred health. Can we make it in time over here? No. We cannot. Now, can I help out here at all? No, 
let's see. Can we secure everybody a blue buff here? Shut down. Everybody has a nice little blue buff. That was maybe not the smartest thing we could have done there, but not the most stupidest either. Maybe we did secure that blue buff for our team. God damn. You have been slain. Kata is turning out to be a real menace. Need a thousand gold. We're gonna do one something AP here. There's mad resistance. Go. Thorn mail. Next, we got Spirit, which will be absolutely phenomenal. I may bend, but I don't break. Go. An enemy has been slain. Let's get the dragon here. Zero, one, and nine. The real assist machine here. God damn, she does a lot of damage. Oh, it's Gwen. I didn't even realize. Now we have a bit of magic resistance, though. I think we'll start to do something with that. How's our runes looking? Gain tenacity. Fighting is in my okay. Should be. Should be good here. Let's get the blue buff. Do a quick little rotation that way. We have dragon. Two dragons.
God damn. Not too ideal. Your turret has been destroyed. An enemy is legendary. Now is she taking blue? go for Spectre's Cow here. I think let's get the... Already taken? God damn! An ally has been slain. That's not good. That's not good at all. Now I'm going to have to start thinking about something to eat here. So, is there something I want to order, perhaps? Order some food. Then there's a long waiting time. Delivery time. Not gonna do that then. Go. Almost got away. Feels like we're throwing this game a bit away, but you know. Give them dragon. We need eight fifty. Which we appear to not be getting here. think we can just sort of go no let's just let's help out here a bit and then let's try and get well I got that you won't be here long. oh no Now we have a spirit message. Now 
this is where we start to hit our stride a bit. Really all that much more damage. There's plenty of me to go around. Nope. Nobody there. Just another day on the job. Well, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Defeat. So what are we looking at here? We are... I wonder if the XP is already... Let's just give it to Fizz, I guess. I mean, we're, you know, two thirds. Towards, towards level 29. But at this point, I actually do have to call it a stream though. It was fun to do a bit of an earlier stream, but we also have a bit more games to play later tonight. Um, and I think we'll get to level 29 by that point. And then we'll also be able to get the first win bonus. But I thank you all for watching. It's been fun. And I hope I'll see you again at some point. So have a good night and bye.